up, epic humans, and welcome back to my next Minecraft episode, uh, where I will be uh, non-mining, and I will be doing something rather creative, other than other YouTubers. You most likely won't get this, so right now, um, I changed a lot of things again. Oh my gosh, the lag. Okay, so, so starting off, uh, right here, uh, I did a little raid tests. So I mirrored uh, the raid contraption over here to here. And then I blocked both sides of the water. Pretty smart. And then, uh... Okay, being a little unbalanced with the water. Uh, I got a horse. And, you know, I got some saddles from the raids, so that's how I got a horse with a saddle on it. Okay, it's a little, little buggy, okay. Or something. And then I moved the tree farm from there to up there. And then I put a lot of dirt up there. And then I needed two, uh, sky pillars so I can snipe the evokers when I see them. And raid results. Let's see, two totems of them dying. Actually, I think I got more, but I lost a couple of uh, being an idiot. So, you know, people make mistakes. So I got uh, two of them. Uh, I realized I need some cows for some books, so I have some cows over there. And then uh, I shortened my pig farm because I don't really need that too much. And then I traded with my uh, villagers again. <clears throat> now, the main thing I need is I need some iron. I need to make an iron farm, and uh, I know exactly the way, so uh, let's see. I'm checking out. So I got a master over here, a master over here, <clears throat> and a master. I got three masters, um, and they all three traded me enchanted bows that I can now use. Power two. Uh, I definitely want to use that. So I can show you uh, some effective strategies I have. Uh, let me put my shield. Let me put some wood away. I'm ready to body these pillagers in such a stylish fashion that no one ever thought of. Just kidding. I'm sure people have thought of this. Well, maybe more effective ways, but you know. This is early game stuff. Being able to take down raids. I don't need these buckets either. And then uh, I got loads of iron. And I believe my armor over here. Let's see. Uh, it's trading me some diamond stuff, which is very nice. Uh, I only got the boots for now. Let's see. And these clowns over here, trading me. They, I need iron for that, and then I need iron again. So right now, uh, let me see my toolsmith. That's a problem. I'm not belling their stupid bells. Okay? Those bells are not worth anything to me. Or maybe I can just keep trading sticks. Either way, big tree farm, everything else. Uh, oh, let's go do some raids. So I need to display raids. You know what? I could grab my horse, but... Yeah, I'm grabbing my horse. It's real. I don't need to waste food on this. Okay. Just don't, sir. Okay, now you can fight me. Don't shoot my horse! Okay, actually, I don't even care about these things. Oh, there we go. Right off the bat, let's go. You could die in two shots, or three shots. There we go. Okay, here we go. Not to fear, I am here. Ready to murder, and that's a beautiful tree farm, I must say. Because, you know, the more wood, the better. Because that, that w wood converts into emeralds. Okay, lag. That's annoying. Okay. This horse jumps is very convenient for my needs. Okay, and then I just gotta wait for uh, the peeps to come in. Honestly, I should just keep that right there. Thanks to these villagers. Uh, the armorer has been a boss, really, because he's been... He's like, hey, would you like a... Would you like some chain mail for a single emerald? Like, that's very convenient for me. Uh, I've been trading with them, so that's why I have a couple of sticks in my inventory. Also, because I just randomly pick them up on the ground. And I keep all my tools in there. Okay, and so they should be on the other side then. They all should go in without an issue. This is the new and improved. You know, I should get rid of this glass. Okay, he's being a little stubborn because he's a little worried. They always seem to go in these two ones over here. And as you can see, after nice journeys of, uh, of creating and uh, making villagers... Oh, I need to get rid of that. I don't think it'll cause too much issues just to collect some rewards. Go over there. And this guy. 
easy, and I can collect the experience by going in there. So that's superior design. They fall in the trap doors right there. And you, for some flippin' reason, they go off. They, they always throw off a raid on this side, and then they come from, I say, that side. Although I don't see them right now. I don't know, they're too busy, like, planning their next attack rather than doing it. And they, yeah, see, they always come from this side to this side. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter because uh, they all die the same. And then, uh, I created this little thing just so I can get through, but they can't because they're dumb. They don't bother trying to go down. So, uh, found a little convenient when they go down there, so... Oh my gosh, the sass Hey. I'm swinging. And I even got Sweeping Edge. I guess that'll increase the spread, maybe? Where's the other guys? I think he's up there, being afraid. Yo, bro, you wanna come at me? I always have a super spear. Oh! Oh! Don't be sassy. Man, this really does feel superior to my last farm. Oh, good day. I think they're named soldiers. I'll be fighting them somewhere else, but I get to do infinite raids at this point. And I'll keep uh, farming emeralds with wood and with illagers. Oh, they should be coming from that side. Maybe I should breed the cows while I'm waiting. That sounds super disrespectful to the raids. That's the cows, man. Come here, Moo Moos. Give me some love. Give me some pat. Oh, no, no, no. Give me some love. Give yourself some love. I need your leather. I need to read. And cover me in diamonds, baby. They may, they may be going to the other side. I don't see them. I think they're over here. Yep. Okay. We got a witchy. A witch! May we burn her? Burn! Definitely burn the witches. And then Thick Boy over there. Uh, we have ways of dealing with this guy. Which is pretty obvious. Uh, although he's very intimidating, but you know. The obvious way. With this power to bow. Very convenient for me. Yeah, I guess you can power arrows as well. And then, you know, you may be like, oh no, you're screwed. They're gonna be coming. Fair not, okay? Or I can do this. But you know, their little IQ brains can't do that. So basically, I'm all sheltered in here for uh, the time being. They may be coming to the other side. So they either go two sides, and you know, I have perfect situations. And then, uh, you know, I have these top parts up here for whenever I need to uh, escape. Oh. Wow, they're really spreading out right now. That's pretty interesting. Break a leg. <laughs> Yo, my bros, my homeboys. They don't seem to be going in any other location. They always seem to go in the middle ones, because I guess that's where the villagers are. That's pretty interesting. So this is officially a more a superior design to my last one I made back in February. Oh, no, it's a weed. I don't know if burning a witch actually like helps you. If you really think about it. Because, you know, they just drink uh, fire-resistant potions. Uh, I don't know, they'll chill. Maybe there's guys on the other side I can take out. Well, this guy's just trapped forever. And then a leech. Man, the potions of poison are just ridiculously... Oh, wait, that one didn't even last long. Okay, let's take out this guy. He's showing me sides of... Uh... Oh, wow, I just two-shot at him. Dang. What do you do? Okay. As you can see, I have no fear. I can come out whenever I want. And I can safely make it back if I need to. <clears throat> Although, I don't think the water is necessary. I just don't want them coming in super close. So, you know, the water helps out with that. This guy's really stubborn. Give me another potion of poison. Two shot. Like a boss. Okay, and then this guy should be down here somewhere. This might be the last wave. 
This could possibly be the last week. Also, if you didn't notice, uh, all the walls are finished. Uh, you know, I need extra uh, fortification in case they get in here, which uh, would ruin my day if they ever got in. There might be an invoker somewhere. There could be. But look around. This sword, this horse has lived through many raids. Okay. I don't know, remember. Oh, there's the evoker. Now, as far as I know, I've done some tests on the evokers for this raid, uh, for this raiding strategy specifically, and I gotta say, if you strike them, they'll immediately spawn their guys. So I think you went in this one, the one on the right. Although I can technically snipe. Now I'm just gonna keep shooting arrows at this pit right there until I kill him. Unless the boar wants to get in the way, whatever. You just keep spamming arrows. I think I got him. Maybe. Okay, I got one of them. I think I got him. Now, what I can, of course, do... They won't actually, like, spawn... Oh, wait. I actually have more efficient ways to get off this. Although, it's a little nerf-wracking, but I can do this. Oh, unless he wants to come after me. But if he really wants to... And it's funny. That's another reason why I have So, this guy can't do it. And it's funny. Honestly, running into them is just stupid. That's how you know if you kill them or not. And then we got, uh, one more witch, I believe. It's a witch. I don't like witches. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I can melee. Here, come here. Easy. GG, easy. And now we got reduced prices. Obviously, that's just a thing. And then sometimes they throw me certain stuff. Like, sometimes one will throw me a stone axe. Which is very upsetting. <clears throat> Look at our homeboy right here. Wait, oh, wait. He's right here. This guy gives me a beautiful iron axe. And then I randomly get a stupid stone axe, whatever this. Is. Gave me this stupid thing. Why do I want that? <laughs> this is not useful. And I got like three of them. I don't even make them anymore. I, I make I get the iron axes. Okay, and now it's time to go tree cropping. Because uh, you know, I need I need trees. I don't need bees for the efficiency. Uh I believe I have full stack and I just need to keep uh planting trees. So now for the fun part. I just gotta chop trees down. And get a bajillion emeralds. So welcome back. Uh, after that, uh, I got all this wood. And then all the trees are chopped. Right now, and, uh, I gotta make sure to catch all these saplings so I can replant all this. So I gotta make sure to uh, replant all the trees, which is why I need as much as possible. I realized I need more wheat as well, so... I gotta make sure to have... Uh, a good amount of wheat to use as well. And now that we're back in business, oh my gosh, random saplings. I need as many as I can to replant all those up there. So now we can start trading. And I got um, all the supplies I need. I just refarmed everything. All these oak logs. And I'm ready to do my trading. Uh, my discounted trades. Just make a jillion sticks. I always have a backup amount of logs just in case I need them. Oh, you precious boys want some. Wait, I just need to so I just gotta keep feeding these uh these super kind, well well respected people. Okay, I keep feeding them my sticks. And I'll just give the jillions of emeralds with discount and trades. I'm saving a bunch. Oh, need to do that again. And as you can see, beautiful emerald farmer. Uh, farming by yours truly, the greatest YouTuber of all time. And as you can see from episode one, I bet there were non-believers out there who truly felt I wouldn't get anything out of this farm. Which I doubt. I actually do doubt that. I do feel believe that he both did think this uh, farm was going to work. And as you can see, 
Uh, now, uh, yeah, this is starting to decrease a little bit after, uh, you know, mining all those trees. And now, with discounted trades, and all my emeralds, although I probably should convert more of this into, uh, sticks. There you go, bajillions of sticks. Now let's uh, trade with these guys. Oh, he's done. Okay, so they're all being selfish and they don't want to restock the trades. So that means I'm going to trade with the other guys. So I can finally get myself some iron leggings. <laughs> Three. Oh, he's out of that. Okay. He just randomly threw me in a, a chainmail chest plate. Calm down, sir. I don't even need that. Like, why don't you trade me something useful, fam? I got all these sticks and I don't need them. Okay, where's that guy? Okay, I'm gonna take some of his leggings. Although I'm all out of emeralds and he's... Take some more shields. Okay, what do you got? What's your master trades? Imagine if they give me, like, uh, netherite stuff. What do you got, boy? Hey! Look at this! Full diamond gear! I'm a genius. I am a straight up genius. Look at this. Now I can cover myself in diamonds. And then I'll be unstoppable. Except for lava. Lava will still kill me. But I get reusable diamond gear. Protection, blast protection, death strider protection. Look at all this. And I get enchanted iron. This is not just normal stuff. All for discounted. Give me your stuff, please. Oh my gosh, all this is just metal at this point. I can just burn that stuff. Cover me in diamonds, baby. Except for this. Which these two clowns want to be silly trades. Like, I don't even know how stupid this is to get the same trade twice. Okay, now... Next uh, thing, as beautiful as I look right now. So I'm going to convert one of these two boys into uh, oh, this guy right here. So in order to do this, uh, big brain plays, you need to do this. Make sure he doesn't come out. Do this. Uh, how did I do it before? I did that. Hey, look at him. It's a little sad he's giving me a bookshelf tread. But there we are. Silk touch. Finally, and I can uh, I don't have a book, do I? Welcome to the world, sir. Ooh, I just barely have enough. Boom! Well, I just gave him the book. Thank you. Pleasure doing business, and I got a silk touch book. Take on raids. As you can see, this is the perfect thing to take on raids. And, uh, I got a lot more content planned for you peeps, and uh, see y'all in the next one.